to calculate the decay rate if your atoms undergo a radioactive decay. This is actually the only equation to actually memorize. So this is actually the integrated rate law for the first order reaction. A naught represents the initial concentration of your atom. A T is a concentration of atom at time T. K is actually just your rate constant. And T just time. The typical problems you're going to see is that so it says a first order reaction is 35% complete at the end of 55 minutes. What is the value of K? We are going to use the natural log AT over A naught equals to negative KT. Don't forget the negative sign. The T is going to equal to 55 minutes. And then it says the reaction is actually 35% complete. You should be able to translate 35% complete. That means actually 35% of your original atom has been consumed. But here is actually you want to know the concentration of atom at time t. So you consume 35% of the atom. That means actually your at is actually going to be original concentration times 65%. So that's a very important translation you need to do. You doesn't care about how many things are consumed. This equation only care about how much of the reactants I still have at this specific time. Things this say, okay, the rich actually is 35% complete. What it really want to say is actually there's still 65% of the reactant remains. So you need to know your AT is equal to your 0.65 A naught. So once you have this, then you can just put these things inside this equation. OK, your AT is 0.65 A naught. Origin concentration is actually A naught equals to negative K times T is actually 55. So A naught, A naught cancel out. By doing this calculation, you should see your K is going to equal to negative log, natural log 0.65 divided by 55. And then you're going to get a value of 7.8 times 10 to the negative 3 minutes. The key word is actually if you see this word complete, you want to actually translate into the situation that have the information of how many of the reactant remains. OK, so those are the part that students always get confused. So let's look at another way to actually ask the same type of questions. A sample of aluminum 32 is found to have activity of 400 and after 10 hours, its activity has decayed to 200. What is the rate constant for this decay? So every time you see this decay type of equations, there's actually only one equation to go to, right? Natural log AT over A naught equals to negative K times T. The information clearly shows up is actually 10 hours, right? So you know you have your T here. You want to actually look for your K. Right? Let me actually to first figure out your AT over A naught. Here it actually says in the beginning, you have activity of 400. That means actually your reactant itself is going to provide 400 activity. After 10 hours, you still have 200 activity. So you can use that activity as an indication of how many original reactants you still have. That means after 10 hours, your AT is going to equal to 200, but your A naught is equal to 400. Therefore, if you put this two information back to here, it will be natural log 200 over 400. It's going to equal to negative K times your T is 10 hours. Therefore, your K is going to equal to negative natural log 0.5 divided by 10. Therefore, you're going to get a value of 0.693 per hour. So you should notice that the unit you got is actually going to associate with the unit you put in. So if your T here use hours, then it becomes per hours. If you use minutes, it becomes per minute. Okay. So that's pretty much the standard questions you're going to encounter when you calculate the decay kinetics.
the important thing is actually you don't care about how much of the reaction complete. What you care about is actually how many reactants remain. Then you can apply the first order integrated rate law to get the correct answer.